24-7 printingasia.com okay so in this particular video I'm going to show you the differences in white point as well as reflectivity of the three top quality papers in Korea and we'll compare them to the uh, European or American paper mill equivalents okay so on this side all these that you see here this is upside down by the way it says Ataji right in the middle of the screen it's basically art paper and art paper implies uh, archival bright white premium quality paper and it's Korea's answer to American or European uh, paper mills that are producing silk or satin so anything that you see that looks like this and remember it is upside down it's going to be silk or satin quality and this is how it reflects bright direct sunlight and I'm going to do my best to try and approximate a good a good feel for you see so you know how this works uh, in outdoor conditions so that's the paper it's very it's matte paper but there's since the sun's so bright you can see a, a gloss to it and it carries straight over from one swatch to another and this is all the same paper just different weights and what I'll, this particular sheet notice how the sun's glare is disappearing on this sheet it's because it's matte coated uh, this sheet has three different types of matte coating so so there's the sun's reflectivity on the glass table here and it disappears the moment it touches the paper three different types of matte coating specified there this is gloss coating including uh, UV coating and metallic UV coating how it reflects there and finally art paper that's uh, 300 gram so we went from 300 gram to 250 gram to 218 gram to 200 all the way down to 100 gram upside down okay so the next creative paper down is going to be your bright white paper um, similar to Mohawk's bright white that's going to be called snow uji which is snow stock basically and that's your Mohawk bright white uh, high white equivalent and let's go from 100 grams all the way to skip to 300 grams and I'll I'll give you an audio of the different let's see if we can see the stock thickness difference so this is 100 grams and that's 300 grams over here there we go I had to orient my lens correctly so this paper <laughs> this is 100 gram and right next to it 300 gram so there you see that it's it's very stiff paper let's let's see if we can give you an audio without the guys laughing in the background so that's how that sounds compared to the sound of the 100 so I'm going to try and give you as much of a real life approximation in in, in a city environment and finally we have the regular stock which is going to be about laser printer stock uh, decent quality inkjet paper stock and that's called Mojoji and now you can start clearly seeing the difference you see how modeled and um, textured this paper is compared to now remember this I'm going to go straight over to the snow or satin equivalent called art paper that's the difference that's the difference between this and again it's uncoated the only reason it looks coated is because of how bright the sun is it's totally uncoated so from here you can't tell the difference but in a glare environment you can absolutely tell the difference from this to this you can actually start seeing the grains and the fibers in the pulp okay so that's that 
Now let's move over here to paper. This is the, this paper is this paper. Uh, we printed this for uh, the WCC, uh, which held the conference in Busan's Bexco Convention Center. Uh, I believe we printed 25,000 of these. I'm not exactly sure at this point from memory, but this is what the paper looks like. Now I'm going to go skip straight over to the imported paper. So this is uh, Mohawk's Silk, and they're both uncoated. So Mohawk Silk apparently is giving you a little less glare than the Korean equivalent. Uh, we have to try this with Stratford silk or satin paper as well to see how that see how it differs. Or maybe it's the curvature of the paper that's doing that. Let's let's it might be because our Korean paper here is concave, whereas the Mohawk paper is convex. So it might just be the actual let me press down on it and see if I can approximate the same. Now one is a little bit more glary. The Korean one is a little bit more glary than the Mohawk. So, so there you have it. Those are the differences. The cost difference. The imported silk and satin paper is going to cost you about 800% more than the Korean version. So, but they're both extremely good quality paper. Extremely bright and, and very white. And you can actually see the quality difference between the three of them when you compare it to this receipt paper that came straight out of a standard coffee machine or coffee shop cash register. It appears kind of gray and yellowish compared to the whiteness of the two premium papers. The import and the domestic. So there you have it. If you need help with your printing, contact us at 247printingasia.com. Printing247asia.com Okay, so I'm recording this outside where we can get direct sunlight and we're going to compare high quality paper stock to medium quality paper stock to standard laser printer photocopy you know, one grade higher than photocopy uh, quality paper stock and we're going to compare using white balance technique and we're going to compare using um, reflectivity with direct sunlight glare so here we have it, this paper as mentioned in the earlier segment, recorded on an iPhone 5, is not coated, but it still gives you a nice luster. It's completely matte if you, if you watch from this side, but if you <coughs> induce direct glare, the paper consistency is extremely equal or even, and it's equivalent to uh, satin or silk paper in the States. And here, here's that break that we showed you earlier. This has absolutely no reflectivity because it's uh, matte coating. And I'm going to show you this entire swatch. This particular swatch is completely matte coated. So it takes until the next swatch until you can actually see the, the glare come across. And these are different coatings as well on the same paper, on the same snow paper. Uh, oh, sorry, not snow. Uh, correction, this is art paper. In other words, silk or satin in America or Great Britain. And this is where we start getting into snow paper. So snow is considered bright white. And the bright white gives you a nice, but even luster, but you can still see the grain. You can still see that there's, there's a paper texture. Wow, that's a pretty good shot. So, it's going to have less luster and it's going to be a little less white than your art paper. I know, art paper makes you think of a, a elementary school cardboard or a card paper. So don't, don't think like that. Art paper is basically archival uh, quality, low acid, high luster, uh, low gloss matte paper. So that's what that is. And this we've come to. Mojoji, which means, you can see that there's three letters at the top, Mojoji. That basically means uh, standard book paper. So I'm going, to bring, I'm going to bring you the sun's glare all the way through across to 
and it disappears again. There's no glare on this because it's basically a laser printer or inkjet quality paper. So there we have the comparisons between all three papers and I'm going to see if I can show you the color differences. I don't believe this um, Samsung camera is going to be able to pick up the color differences between these sheets of paper but maybe if we compare it to this paper, this is uh, receipt paper pulled right out of a coffee shop cash register so you can s uh, no, not even with a naked eye it's kind of hard to see they're all very bright white in other words so there we have that as far as thickness if you want to compare the thickness I'll show you this particular sheet is 218 grams 300 grams art 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 let me find the 300 gram sheet here's 300 there it is well that's that says 100 because my lens is focusing on the wrong one uh, it is right here okay art 300 grams per meter squared and it's about that thick I'll let you hear it if you can So that's, that's how much bounce it has, that's how much tension and rigidity it has. If you move over here to the 100 gram, no rigidity whatsoever, it's, it's very, very thin. And as far as actual feel, you'll have to physically take delivery of paper samples to feel the difference, but I'm hopefully able to give you a little bit of a semblance or a feel let's see the 200 gram so this is let me get over to 200 there you go this is 200 gram and let's see how that feels 218 gram 250 gram Three hundred gram. And what I'm going to do next is show you a finished product and show you the comparisons between this and imported paper. That's actual satin, either from Mohawk or one of the larger American paper uh, manufacturers. Okay, so let's do one more indoor ambient lighting glare and white point test comparison. The Penex brochure here that you see is on imported Mohawk silk or satin paper. And this is the paper that's eight times more expensive than this one. That's the, uh, that's the w WCC brochure. And you can immediately see a paper, there's a gradation here, so ignore the gradation. The gradation ends right at this uh, main headline right here where it says over a new page in history, so ignore everything to the bottom of that and you can start seeing the color difference. The Korean domestic paper is brighter. Um, it's, it's a little bit more bluish. The, the Mohawk is going to be a little bit more orangey, a little browner, a little warmer tone, uh, colder tone, warm, warmer tone, but you can see the reflectivity difference is pretty big. There's very little uh, glare on the Mohawk, whereas there's a substantially more glare on the Korean art paper, uh, which is going to be your silk or satin equivalent in Korea, but one eighth of the price. So that, there you have it. And when you compare it to the receipt paper, you can you can start seeing the quality, the texture difference very quickly. So this is actually a pretty good representation. My guess right now, based on what I'm seeing right now, is that the Korean paper is slightly smoother uh, and less modeled in texture than the than the American import, and, and that might account for the extra glare. Um, I'm not sure what the resin content is on each paper, so I, I couldn't tell you exactly whether resin has anything to do with this glare difference. But uh, there you have it: indoors ambient lighting comparison.